Blombos Cave is an archaeological site located in Blombos Fontaine Nature Reserve, about 300 kilometers east of Cape Town on the southern Cape coastline, South Africa. The cave contains its Middle Stone Age deposits currently dated at between c. 100,000 and 70,000 years before present, and a Late Stone Age sequence dated at between 2,300 years BP. The cave site was first excavated in 1991 and field work has been conducted there on a regular basis since 1997 and is ongoing. The excavations at Blumbo's cave have yielded important new information on the behavioral evolution of our species, Homo sapiens. The archaeological record from this cave site has been central in the ongoing debate on the cognitive and cultural origin of early humans and to the current understanding of when and where key behavioral innovations emerged among Homo sapiens in southern Africa during the late Pleistocene. Archaeological material and faunal remains recovered from the Middle Stone Age phase in Blumbo's cave, dated to California, 100,000-70,000 years BP, are considered to represent greater ecological niche adaptation, a more diverse set of subsistence and procurement strategies, adoption of multi-step technology and manufacture of composite tools, Stylistic elaboration, increased economic and social organization and occurrence of symbolically mediated behavior. The most informative archaeological material from Blombo's cave includes engraved ochre, engraved bone ochre processing kits, marine shell beads, refined bone and stone tools and a broad range of terrestrial and marine faunal remains, including shellfish, birds tortoise and ostrich egg shell and mammals of various sizes. These findings, together with subsequent reanalysis and excavation of other Middle Stone Age sites in southern Africa, have resulted in a paradigm shift with regards to our understanding of the timing and location of the development of modern human behavior. On 29 May 2015 Heritage Western Cape formally protected the site as a provincial heritage site. Excavation History and Research Context Blumbo's cave was first excavated in 1991-1992 as a part of Professor Christopher S. Henshelwood's doctoral thesis at the University of Cambridge, Holocene Archaeology of the Coastal Garcia State Forest, Southern Cape, South Africa. Blumbo's cave was originally one of nine Holocene later Stone Age sites that Henshelwood excavated and it was first given the acronym GSF-8. In 1997 GSF-8 was renamed Blumbo's cave and given its current acronym, BBC. From 1999 to 2011 in total 10 field seasons, each six weeks long, have been carried out at the cave site. From the initial excavations conducted in the early 1990s, the Blombos Cave Project has adopted and established new and innovative research agendas in the study of Southern African prehistory. While Henshelwood's initial doctoral research was directed towards the more recent later Stone Age occupation levels, the focus since 1997 has been on the Middle Stone Age sequence. The Blombos Cave Project has since then developed academically, economically and administratively, from being a local and small-scale test excavation to becoming an international, full-scale, high-technological archaeological project. In 2010 to 2015 the cave site is the focus of the multidisciplinary, pan-continental research program TRACSYMBOLS. The TRACSYMBOLS project is led by Professor Christopher S. Henshelwood based at the Department of Archaeology, History, Cultural Studies and Religion at the University of Bergen and the University of the Witwatersrand, South Africa, together with Professor Francesco Derrico from the University of Bordeaux 1, France. The aim of TRACSYMBOLS project is to examine how key behavioral innovations emerged among Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis in southern Africa and Europe respectively, 
and to explore whether and how environmental variability influenced this development between 180,000 and 25,000 years ago, primarily by combining archaeological results, original multiproxy paleoenvironmental data and climatic simulations for two continents. Site description the cave is situated in a south-facing cliff face 34.5 meter above sea level California, 100 meters from the present day shoreline. The cave formation is set in calcretes of the Wanko Formation, and the geological setting indicates that the cave was formed by wave action sometime during the Pleistocene. The interior of Blombo's cave comprises a single main chamber, and the entire interior cave floor is about 39 square meters behind the drip line. West of the cave's main chamber, anthropogenic deposit extends inwardly 3 to 5 meter. In this area, however, the cave ceiling lowers to a point where it falls in level with the surface, preventing access to the deposit beneath. In the area northeast of the main chamber, deposit expands into a low-laying antechamber of unknown extent due to the sun filling it. By the end of the 2011 field season about 19.5 square meters of interior cave has been dug during the Blombos cave excavations. Blombos cave's outer talus forms a gently sloping platform of about 23 square meters that extends 4 to 5 meters southwards before the terrain abruptly drops down towards shoreline that lies some 34, 5 meters below the cave entrance. The talus, which primarily consists of Middle Stone Age deposit, rock fall and unconsolidated sediments, is stabilized by an area of large, exposed blocks. At some stage, and in between the prehistoric occupation of the cave site, these blocks have fallen down from the rock face above, effectively preventing site erosion and allowing sediments to stabilize and accumulate in front of the cave's drip line. Calcium carbonate rich groundwater seeps in from the cave roof and percolates through the interior sediments, resulting in an alkaline environment with good preservation conditions. The excavated Middle Stone Age deposit in Blombo's cave consists of Eolian dune sand, blown in through the cave entrance, and roof spall from the cave ceiling. Intermixed with these sandy matrix is a decomposed marine and terrestrial faunal remains and organic material large combustion features. Small basin-shaped hearths and carbonized horizons are recorded throughout the whole MSA sequence. Stratigraphy and Dating when the excavation started at Blombo's cave in 1992 the cave entrance was partially sealed by dune sand, and about 20 centimeters of sterile Eolian deposit covered the interior later Stone Age deposit. Underneath the Eolian sand surface, seven main phases of occupation have been identified in the 2.5-3 meter deep Blombo's cave stratigraphic sequence, three in the later Stone Age and four in the Middle Stone Age. These phases are further divided into finer lenses and sublenses, most of them less than 10 cm thick. The later Stone Age and Middle Stone Age levels are separated by a 5 to 50 cm thick, sterile unit named Hiatusa or Dun. The hiatus consists of yellow Eolian sand that blew into the cave at about 68,000-70,000 years BP, and shows little disturbance from the overlying later Stone Age units. Humans have briefly and sporadically occupied Blombo's cave throughout the Middle Stone Age and in the latter parts of the later Stone Age. The occupational hiatus between California, 68,000 and 2,000 years BP, combined with the geological evidence, indicates that the cave site was sealed off by Eolian sand during this period. The cave entrance appeared to have reopened during the Mid-Holocene. Transgression when high sea levels eroded away most of the dune. Remnants of this eroded calcarenite dune are still visible in the surrounding coastal landscape. 
The later Stone Age sequence has been radiocarbon dated to 2000 to 290 years BP, while the Middle Stone Age sequence is dated to California 101,000-70,000 years ago through a number of methods, including thermoluminescence, optically stimulated luminescence, uranium-thorium series and electron spin resonance. The lowest levels of the M3 phase has a preliminary age of greater than 130,000 years ago, while the unexcavated sediments below these levels remains undated. Dating the Middle Stone Age sequence the hiatus level composed of undisturbed Aeolian sand overlying the M1 phase is dated by OSL to 69,000 plus or minus 5,000, and 70,000 plus or minus 5,000 years BP, while OSL ages ranging from 74,900 plus or minus 4,300 to 72,500 plus or minus 4,600 years BP have been obtained for the upper part of the M1 phase, i.e., the units associated with the still Bay Techno tradition. Jacobs et al. 2013 consider the still Bay sequence at Blumbo's Cave to have begun only after 75,500 years BP and ended 67,800 years ago, lasting no longer than 6,600 years. The true age of the still bay has been debated, and ages presented by Jacob Zayal. 2013 has been challenged on methodological grounds. TL ages for the M1 phase are 74,000 plus or minus 5,000 and 78,000 plus or minus 6,000 years BP. The lower layers in the M2 phase have been dated to between 78,900 plus or minus 5,978,800 5 plus or minus 5,600 years BP. The upper levels of the M3 phase are dated to California 100,000 years ago, coinciding with the high sea level stand during marine isotope stage 5C. A preliminary age of greater than 130,000 years BP is attributed to the lower M3 phase. Critical remarks were in 2013 raised towards the luminescence-based Middle Stone Age chronology established by Jacob Zayal. 2008 on methodological grounds related to errors in the manipulation of the luminescence data and estimation of uncertainties in the dose rates. The Middle Stone Age chronology for Blombo's cave derived from optically stimulated luminescence ages is, nonetheless, consistent with the ages obtained through alternative methods, and remains uncontested.